How's it going, guys? We're back. Another beer review. Beer review day two of this weekend. And we got one from the Albino Rhino. This is kind of cool. This is one I've sort of had, like, you think of beers like you see them, like, years ago. You're like, that's cool. That sounds like a beer I'd really like to try. And then you totally fucking forget about it. And um, this is one of those beers. This is one of those beers where it's like, for a while I saw it, ads of it in magazines and stuff. It's like, that looks really cool. I, I'd really like to try that. That was back in the day when I was really just starting to try, like, Belgian beers and stuff like that. And I was, like, really excited about anything Belgian that was coming out. So I was like, yeah, I want to try anything from Belgium. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, the Albino Rhino sent it to me, and I'm very grateful to be able to finally try this. This is... Uh, Pirat, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, essentially Pirate, but uh, you, you got a nice Pirate Galleon on there. Um, and this is from, Jesus, where is it from? Strong Belgian beer with re-fermentation, 10.5% alcohol by volume, so it's a majorly big motherfucker, even for a Belgian beer. Uh, where are these guys from? This is the Van Steenberge. Probably pronounced it incorrectly as well. But uh, Belgian brewery, Van Steenberge. Um, wow, it says it's good up till uh, the 16th, five month. Uh, so May 16th, 2015 is it where it's up, where it's good till. And, it, and honestly, it'll probably go a lot longer than that with a high alcohol like that. But um, I've seen this classified as both just a generically strong Belgian ale and as actually an IPA, Belgian IPA. Because apparently this is a very hoppy beer for a Belgian beer. So uh, that makes that it makes it extra interesting to try. For me and uh, those cool little Belgian bottles, 330 milliliter bottles. I love those bottles. I don't know. I guess they remind me of uh, the classic Canadian stubby in some ways. So that's probably why I like them so much. Now I was going to use a uh, Belgian goblet for this, but I decided uh, I where where I said that. Where I saw that someone said it was, uh, one of the sites said it was a, like a Belgian IPA almost. I figured I should go for a tulip glass just so I could probably get a bit better aroma funneled up to me. Whereas with a wide goblet, it's kind of out there. So, here we go. At the very least, this is apparently a Belgian pale ale, so... From what I gathered, I, I looked at a couple different sources, not just Beer Advocate and Rate Beer or whatever shit. Um, I looked around a bit, so I've seen a bunch of different classifications for this. But essentially, the biggest one I got was Pale Ale from Belgium. So, you know, if it's a India Pale Ale from Belgium. And that's straight up orange. That's like orange juice. Big Belgian head, to be expected, I imagine. Almost every Belgian beer you run into is carbonated to this degree where you just get these big, big heads. Very murky. Like I said, it's it's straight up orange, but in like, you know, like an actual orange, orange peel color. Uh, and there's a murkiness all through it. Looks really good, though. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go right to the aroma, see what we can get out of this. The head's kind of big, so maybe I'm not going to get everything out of here, but um, we'll try. We'll see what we can do. Not getting a lot of hoppiness out of this. In fact, I'm not, honestly, I'm not getting a lot of aroma all this out of this at all. I'm getting some subtle grain hints here, like just the maltiness coming out. And a little bit of that Belgian yeast characteristic, that sort of sweet, um, fruity Belgian yeast characteristic. But I'm definitely not getting like some sort of pronounced hop character. And... So, 
honestly, just smelling this, it smells like a lighter Belgian ale kind of thing. So like a lighter uh, Lef, uh or something along those lines. Left Blonde or whatever. And I'm definitely not getting any alcohol. The 10.5%, it's not there in the aroma at all. It's just totally masked. So we're going to go to taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Very drinkable. Um, medium bodied, light, light medium bodied, I guess, lower medium body. You have that classic Belgian yeast character just going all through the taste. Um, that sweet, fruity um, reminds you of a triple, like um, Chimay triple, things along those lines. I am definitely getting a hot presence in this. Um, in the back, and it's not big, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm drinking this and I'm not thinking IPA at all, honestly. Um, if anything, I'm just thinking standard Belgian strong ale. So that's probably the categorization that's correct for this one. Um, so it's more in the range of something like uh, Duvel, um, something along those lines. But yeah, as a as a belt, it, it basically is a standard Belgian strong ale, strong pale ale. Um, there is a little bit more hoppiness I, I feel coming from the back. Um, it's it's kind of a spicy, slightly earthy hoppiness. But for the most part, it's still the Belgian characteristics that are uh, uh, holding uh, court over this beer. Um, It's it's essentially a slightly slightly hoppier uh, left uh, blonde, left a blonde or whatever, um, and that's not a bad thing at all because that's a really good beer and this is a really good beer. And holy fuck, ten point five percent! It is not anywhere in the taste. I'm not even feeling any warmth going down or anything. Ten point five percent. I just don't see it. Uh, if I was drinking this blind, I'd say this is a strong Belgian ale, and I'd say it's probably about 6%. That's where I'd put it at. Uh, the alcohol is just not there. <laughs> it is not there at all. So it's a fucking totally dangerous beer, and it's a good thing it's only in 330 milliliter bottles. If this was, in, well, honestly, yeah, I don't know. It could be sold in bombers as well. If it is, sold in bombers then that's a fucking dangerous beer but wow yeah I like it I like it a lot um honestly if I could get it all the time I probably would buy it all the time um it's got a nice drying finish on it I don't know if any of the alcohol I don't know if that's where the alcohol is coming out where it's Maybe a little bit of a astringency coming coming around to dry out your palate, or if that's just the hops, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but as it sits, uh, that's a really damn good strong Belgian ale, and it's an incredibly drinkable one. Uh, it's stronger than most strong Belgian ales. So, uh, P Rat, I'm gonna go. Four two five out of five. It's not complex or amazing, anything like that. But other than that, I find no fault with it. So I have to give it really high high marks. So four two, so four two uh, five out of five. Four point two five out of five. Pirat, cheers! Thanks to Albino Rhino for this one, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.